Hello and welcome to digi8.com. In this video, we are going to cover the topic on patience. Now let's start with the definition of patience. Patience is a capacity for waiting. It is feeling pain without annoyance or complaint. Patience is also called forbearance. It is a capacity to persist in hurdles. It is having resilience even when delays happen. It is to bear without reacting angrily, disrespectfully, despite provocations. It is resilience when faced with difficulties, especially those which last for a long time. Patience is examined as a decision-making issue in cognitive neuroscience and psychology. Moving on to cultivating patience. First, try to be grateful. Researchers have shown that adults who exhibit gratefulness can delay seeking satisfaction. One can be grateful for whatever they have at the present moment. One doesn't need new things and better stuff at the immediate moment. Next, rethink the scenario. Impatience is not a spontaneous reaction. One's conscious thoughts and beliefs play a role too. When one is stuck in traffic, one can get impatient and angry. Alternatively, they can engage in breathing exercises that calms them down and helps them overall. Next, avoid screen time for a while. Continuous exposure to technology can have an impact on neural pathways. This impairs patience. One can avoid technology for a while. One can maybe start with an hour and then evolve to a full day. It helps one assess how they would react. Next, learn gardening. Plants grow slowly from their seeds. Seasons cannot be sped up either. Gardening reminds people that life is not fast. It encourages humility because plants do not live all the time, no matter how hard one tries. Next, think of something that cannot be purchased immediately. This is very helpful for kids. However, this is also good for adults. It helps people who are likely to spend more money on credit. Next, reasons to cultivate patience. First, makes one more peaceful. Second, improves mental health. Next, attracts people. Fourth, allows one to build their abilities. Next, helps one pick rational options. Next, one gets to be known for their persistence. Next, it helps one keep the larger aims in mind. Next, can help us reach targets. And finally, patient helps friendships and neighborliness. Moving on to impatience. There are many kinds of impatience in social scenarios. For instance, when the internet is slow, one can keep refreshing their page in the hope for it to load faster. However, this is a symptom of impatience. Getting angry when they are put on hold for an extended time when on call. Or getting upset at a junior employee who is taking time to finish their task. Moving on to the advantages of patience. First, it gives people the time to analyze strategically and assess the whole scenario. Next, issues get the time to sort themselves out. It provides more strategic clarity on what is happening. One is fine with allowing things to calm down. This gives the time for more strategic decision making. And finally, one is sensitive to the issues other people go through, though one might not go through them. Looking at the disadvantages of being patient. First, one misses chances to act on something while waiting for an issue to solve. This includes things which might not need a long time to take off. Next, one can end up waiting for data that does not bring any value or clarity or confuses people. One ignores the unique wisdom that is caused by one's instincts and initial assessments. And finally, one might let off their colleagues' mistakes when they can be corrected. This could affect how the whole team functions. Finally, let's look at some quotes on patience. First, by Sue Bender. When it comes to patience, we don't have to change old habits. We can build better ones. Next, by Mahatma Gandhi. To lose patience is to lose the battle. Next, Margaret Thatcher. I am extraordinarily patient, provided I get my own way in the end. Next, Michelangelo. Genius is eternal patience. By Soren Kierkegaard, patience is necessary and one cannot reap immediately where one has sown. Next by Virgil, come what may, all bad fortune is to be conquered by endurance. Next by Isaac Newton, if I have done the public any service, it is due to my patient thought. And finally by Albert Hubbard, how many a man has thrown up his hands at a time when a little more effort, a little more patience would have achieved success. So that's it folks, this brings an end to the topic on patience. These are some of the sources and links referred to for the content in the video. Thank you and see you in the next video.